Alright, so we've got Roxas going up against Cancer. Oh, it's your boy Cancer! More barrel play, let's go! As it catches up to where they are. Alright, so it's Bison, not Bison. Well, okay, in Japan it'd be Bison versus Zangief, but it's Boxer. This is Zangief, and watch Cancer last time. He, pr he prospered, he travelled far last time. But uh, we'll see how he does now. Right, I. Wow, damn, the robot. Yeah, it's just catching up, guys. It's gonna happen all the time, don't worry. Good tech, though. But right now, Roxas has lost, uh, from what I can tell, Roxas has lost a substantial amount of health. And he was gonna explode a lot of his uh, Cyclone Lariat to try and get Cancer in place, but. Alright, now he's wasted his V trigger. I don't know why Cancer decided to V reverse for that. But Zangief would have been safe after that anyway, and so would have he, because he would have got pushed back a lot. Alright. So, Cancer takes the first round there of this first game. So, yeah. Bison. I'm saying Bison. Balrog on the ground is. Or standing up is a very solid character and a nightmare. The thing about Balrog is. Is once he gets knocked down, he's completely doo doo. And he's a very linear character. You, his V trigger is linear, his gameplay is linear, but he's a hard hitter. You know what's coming. So. If you blunder, if you make a mistake, then you you kind of messed up. Because Baron doesn't really have any gimmicks. It's just solid damage. Solid footsies. And he gets a headbutt. Nice stuff there from Roxas. And he gets the stun as well. Alright, can he close it out? Not dead. He should have went. Whoa, and he works out with Super. Why'd you do that? But he's escaped. I respect it. See, now, if, uh, if Zangief had green hand, he could have punched that. <laughs> If Zangief had Green Hand, he actually could have punched that. <laughs> Shouts to removing Green Hand. He doesn't need it. Not with that forward hard punch. Not with that headbutt. Good turn strong. But yeah, you want to see more stand medium kicks? Uh, maybe more hot forward hard punches from Roxas to keep. I'll uh, check. Because Meaty's blocked this character as well. But he's got a very powerful stand hard kick. Plus three on block. Um, obviously, the, the bread and butter way that you want to come in is via the dash straights. The dash grand blows with Balrog, but it's not good to do in this game because they're minus four, or well, the dash traits are minus four on block, so he can get a crouching jab, or he's got critical R right now, so he can punish with a critical R, and it's one frame, the only super in this game has one frame. Or he can punish with a regular SPD, and I believe uh, Zangi's SPDs start up in six frames. That's if he wants to punish dash grand blow. Those are minus seven on block. Activates V trigger though, and that was the smartest thing I've seen today. Oh my god, you're the best. I like Roxas. That was actually pretty cool. But if he doesn't win this round, it's irrelevant. Alright. Go for the pressure. And into the chip. He can't be reversal. And that was even more genius tactics from your boy Cancer. He went in there. He saw that the V trigger was activated. And he said, you know what? That was pretty smart. You baited my V reversal. You went for your one frame super. Safe. I'm going to defeat you via chip. And that was a that is a viable tactic for Barrow. When your opponents have activated their V-Trigger or utilized it already, and you've got yours, and you've got Super, chip them down. I think each hit, um, what's it? I think each uh, each hit takes about eight to 10 chip damage. I have to double check when I'm in training mode next time, but then counting off the Super damage or the chip, uh, the chip damage on the Super, it adds up. I, I do like that last round, the last uh, 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds of the last round is brilliant. Brilliant piece uh, of play from both players scintillating performance. Alright, gets the SPD. We haven't seen enough of those, so you might want to use it a little bit more. They do blow up. Oh my word. Roxas, you are the best. And he gets meaty Oki after this. Meaty setups, Okies, whatever you want to call it, he gets it. Alright, and the V-Trick is on. And he backs off, trying to go for the shimmy there, and he gets the turn punch. Good tank. I think he would have followed up from that. But he didn't do it. Good stand jab anti-air. Oh, he's going to have to hold that. Makes Zangief safe. Misses the anti-air. Oh, boy. Is that a heavy? No, that was a light one. So he needs to get one more. And he gets the running bear grab. Rudeness. I'm liking the creativity from both these players right now. Roxas is jumping out of range where he knows Cancer's stand medium punch will whiff. And predominantly stand uh, jumping medium kick will beat out the button in the air. Because jumping medium kick with Zangief is very good. And just the baits right now. The parries. From Roxas, they've been really well. Hopefully, um, Cancer can adapt, circumvent this problem. But he's going to get SPD'd once again. 
And you have to remember as well, when you get SPD'd by Zangief, you get SPD'd by the light one. Or if you get grabbed by the light one, sorry. Um, that's got the longest range, but you get no Oki after it. It's only the medium, heavy, and the EX one. And the EX one inflicts the most stun, which is 300. So be sure about that, or be wary about that. Good jump in Roundhouse. Wow. That, that did a lot of damage. Shout out to Baron Damage. And Zangi's got the most vitality in the game, so <laughs> when you're hitting this guy, it hurts. Maybe it takes a powerhouse to beat a powerhouse. All right. So again, in, in, in the neutral, uh, crouching light punch is going to help out Zangi for a lot. Because Baron's buns are kind of stubby, and he's going to get the confirm in to critical art. We in there. And he's going to get a meaty hard punch after this. And he went for the hard kick instead. Well, either way, both those buttons are crushed counter buttons, so if can press the button, he's in trouble. Oh, good throw. He's just mashing throw. I respect it. Absolutely respect it. All right, so let's see if Rox is close this round. But he gets the jump in again and drops the combo. Can't do that cancer. You want to get this. All right. EXSPD closes out the game. Is it this matchup in favor for Geef? Yes, it is. Um, I wholeheartedly agree with that because, surprisingly enough, the starting 16, for me, the starting 16 characters are a lot stronger than the DLC characters. Now, we're just seeing the, uh, the DLC characters' tactics and their strengths come to fruition the latter stages of this year. But the starting 16, they just, they had tools and just uh, damage outputs that really sufficed and just out-prioritized or just overshadow the DLC characters there. And it's really hard for Geef, not Geef, it's really hard for Boxer to really utilize most of these moves. His normals are stubby, he can't throw out dash traits liberally. He's lucky that Zangief's SPD doesn't start up in less than four frames because that would have been punished by an SPD every single time one was thrown out. By the light one anyway. So. Alex and Guile overall, yeah, I think they're the strongest uh, DLC characters. But I, I, I like how people are starting to use Barrack a little bit more. Okay. SPD is not dead yet. Damn, it did 240 damage. Alright, making sure he's safe. Wow, okay. I don't know what happened there. But yeah, when, when Zangief lets the entire Cyclone Lariat, his V-Trigger rock, uh, it actually is safe because of the pushback it gives him and it generates his opponent, so he's fine. Good Borsch Dynamite there from Roxas. I'm, I'm liking how Roxas handling this. I want to see more buttons in the neutral from Roxas, but every other department, he's been fine. He's been closing out cancer really well, but it is one piece. Gets the EX SPD. Whoa, and the Borsch Dynamite game getting us reads on the hard jumps. And what? What I personally like about Zangief, because I used to use Zangief a couple months back, I like Zangief because he knows how to identify bad habits really well. And it's the stun racking up. Get the stun. There you go. This is what cancer's all about. And I don't know what that was, but it was an execution blunder, but he could lose the game because of this. Okay, stun hard kick and great spacing on the jumping. Hard punch there. So cancer's going to take game two or game three. So it's 2 1. Yeah, no, what, what I like about Zangief is he knows how to identify bad habits really well. You know, when you're up against a grappler, like uh, with SF4 and Hugo, Hugo had a Baku Breaker. So when you had an SPD and you wanted to go for the SPD, you wouldn't actually jump. So you'd go for the backbreaker instead. Zangief kind of does that in this game as well. So it's like, all right, if I do a jab and I'm going to go for a tick throw, people will most likely go to jump. And if Borsch Dynamite cats him out of the sky, then you're kind of locked into that mix up. Is it a grounded SPD or is it an air one? Forward hard punch, I think it's one of the best moves in this game. Uh, just in terms of if they backdash, you get a knockdown. Meaty is really cool. You can combo after as well. And I think any any button Zangi press, uh, if it's on hit, he can link super afterwards. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, because I know it starts up in one frame. That's the beat of it. And he can punish like nearly anything in the game that's minus, or everything in the game that's minus. So all those minus two situations are irrelevant when Zangief has critical art. That's what I like about his character. And it's just fun to walk towards your opponent with Zangief. I know it's long and tedious, but it's just fun to walk with him because it's just like, I've got 1,050 Vitality and you're just scared of getting SPD. Wow, nice reset there from Cancer. Going in, he tried to go for the little instant overhead there, but didn't work off. And I don't know why Roxas tried... I know he tried to suck him in. Now, I believe Zangief is minus if he tries to do a raw suction or vacuum with the uh, Cyclone Marriott, so you've got to be careful with that. 
Crash meeting kit, you can't link at maxed instance into, uh, into critical art. Thank you, Wang Gore. I didn't know that. I, I literally, I, I do need to go back and mess around with all these characters again. Oh, the characters I haven't been training with, because in recent weeks, it's only been Mika and uh, Ibuki. And I've actually stopped practicing with a lot of the other characters, so... Thank you for that info. I should actually know that on my laptop later. Alright. Uh, Fireproof. I, um, Roxas... Not Roxas. Cancer's finding it hard to anti-air uh, Roxas because... It, Roxas is jumping at an angle where standing medium punch will whiff. And that means he can get a free SPD on the way down. Alright. Nice confirm here. I think he's going to let it rock and get all the damage. He exports Dynamite. He's going to get a meaty jab after this if he wants it. <gasps> Try to go for the throw instead, but good jump back. That's it. That cost him the game. He really should have gone for the meaty jab there. 